Oh, hello, my name is um, Hope Stone. Listen, I've come from a long way and I'm tired and I'm hungry and I don't feel good. I just really need some shelter and if I could see a doctor, it would be really nice. Uh, or just get some help, please. Well, I'd be willing to assist you. I'd be willing, I'd be happy to assist you. Do you have any proper ideas? Well, all I have is this old social security card right here. You, um, I think you might have got your uh, social security card mixed up with your brother. They say John, John Jr. Well, I, I had not got my name legally changed yet, but I'm going through the procedures to get my name changed. Well, sir, could you please not call me that? Well, we can't help you over here until you have your full surgery. So, see, can you go across the street to the man's shelter? Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, can I serve you, ma'am? Yes, um, I was over there at the, the women's clinic, and um, they told me to come over here. It's really kind of embarrassing, but um, I'm supposed to be over here. I need to come over here. Uh, yeah, the women's shelters across the street. Oh, well, I was not born a woman. And while we're playing confessions, I'm HIV positive. And I really need to see a doctor. I don't feel good, and I'm really tired, and I just want to get some rest for a couple of days, please. Wait a minute. This sounds like a matter for my supervisor. Let me get my supervisor. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Mr. Um, how can I help you, sir? <laughs> Look, um, I'm really not feeling good. I've been sleeping on the streets. Um, I'm tired and I'm hungry and I'm just really, I just really need some rest and I need to see a doctor because I'm HIV positive and I need to just go and get a checkup really bad. Okay, well, this is what we're going to do for you. We can help you here. So we're going to have to give you something to tone down your address dress tone. But this is a men's shelter, and then on top of that, we're Christian-based. And we can't have people like you coming to our shelter mm -hmm. causing confusion. So I can give you a place to stay. I can give you some food to eat. But you're going to have to tone it down a little bit, okay? This all just really necessary. Well, here again, like I said, this is a, this is a place of business. It's a Christian-based place. And we just can't have you coming in here any kind of way where you feel you can come in here. Well, if I could see a doctor, I could see a doctor, I guess. Okay, we're not going to go about this all day long. What I'm going to do is, you're going to see some girl to the IDC clinic down the street, and they're going to take care of your medical needs. But before you come back, I'm going to need you to have a signed letter from the doctor saying that you're okay and that you can be in a place like this. We'll save a bed for you. We'll save you some food. But first, I'm going to go back here in this closet. I'm going to get you some clothes. But we can't have all this dressing in this place like this, okay? I'll be right back. So, personally, we appreciate the help you back. Make sure you bring me back that letter from that doctor. Now, you hear me? Oh, no. And you're supposed to be a Christian based facility. Excuse me, I, I, I've been sleeping on the streets. I've been sleeping on the streets, and, and, and I, I'm not going to lie, I've been doing drugs, ma'am, and I, and, and I don't know what my, my T-cell count is or my viral count is, and I just want to get some help, you know. I, I, I don't know if I'm going to make it. I haven't been feeling good. I might be coming down with a cold head in my throat, you know, the weeds and stuff. And, and it's cold out like there, it's winter time, and, and I end up going from here to there at the shelters. And if you can help me, just let me see a doctor or something so I can get some rest tonight. Please, I gotta have this paper signed before I go back. <clears throat> uh, sir, I'm sorry, they gave me the wrong information. Well, this is what this name is on this paper. It's but I'm going through the transition right now. Well, I don't know about all such things. But I do know you they've given you the wrong information. 
Uh, how uh, low are your teeth there? Um, they are um, four, 405. And uh, have you been TB tested? No, I haven't had no TB. I've been sleeping on the streets, ma'am. Ain't no TB test on the streets, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to take you down to the health department. Oh, my. I'm running around. All I want to do is lay down. I'm so tired. Well, they probably got a place down there for you to lay down now. I hear there's, uh, there's a middle ward down there on the eighth floor down there. Oh. <laughs> it's a middle ward. Lord. You know, I just, no, nobody cares. I should just, I should just give up. I'm just tired. I just <coughs> sleep out here where I slept last night. Okay. This is a poem that I wrote while I was in the homeless shelter when I first came here from Atlanta. Um, in This Place by Tila Clark. In this place I've seen so much. There's endless deceits. Who can I trust? I've observed much treachery in the past few days, yet the focus is on me and how I behave. Judge me, watch me, monitor my sins. Why must it be this way? When will the madness end? If I would conform to your way and be who I'm not inside, would you care what that does to me or just watch my spirit die? You pretend to know God as if you're closer to him than anyone else. Don't you think it's vain to think that much of yourself? God loves me no matter what I do. I just felt I must stress this before my time is through. In this place, there is stealing, stabbing, drug dealing, drug, drug abusing, not to mention the staff being verbally abusing. Yet I'm mocked and ridiculed and made to be the blame. I hope the great spirit's mother Mary is weeping for all our shame. I'm different, so what? I do my best. Don't judge me until you discipline the rest. Stop turning a blind eye to this community's crime ways so you can condemn me because my legs are shaved. I say this on behalf of all others like myself. Don't just wipe the cabinets, open the doors, and clean the shelves. <laughs>